Jim Blatt in action! Yeah! Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Round Collector! Welcome people, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to talk about a new plug and play. And uh, this time I traded it on uh, the Tilburg convention. Uh, that was from a girl, uh, Selina if I'm correct? And if I'm not correct, please correct me, leave it in the comments. So uh, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity for uh, making a review about this because I really love uh, plug and play and I really love hardware. So it was a pretty damn expensive version. Uh, the box is a little bit uh, basic. Item number. So yeah, people, what do we get? It's a uh, really funny, uh, yeah, really funny plug and play. The Power Station 64. So yeah, it's a rip of the N64, but it doesn't have the analog stick. It comes with a few controllers, and a lot of wires, and even with a light gun. I think it looks uh, looks really uh, yeah I won't say authentic but looks really funny. Um, yeah, I will plug it into my station of my television, but the main problem is I don't have a CRT anymore because I yeah the version I had was broken, so I cannot test the light gun. It comes with a power supply, built-in games. There's nothing special with. It. All right, this is interesting. This is a connector for NES. Hmm. We're going to try this one out. Oh, what is this? Oh, here you put the batteries in. LOL! <laughs> you can add the controller. So this is the console itself. This is the main console and here you can plug in the yeah, the, the, the light gun or the extra controller. Oh, wait, there is a manual. Power station. The super idiot power station. Let's see resetting, some basic explanation, not nothing special. So yeah, alright. Let's plug it in uh, the television. I'm very curious what we're going to get. Right, people, the system uh, <coughs> is powered on, and uh, let's see what we're going to get here. Mm. It seems to be there are eight-bit games from the NES on the system. A lot of familiar games like Super Contra, Jewel Tetris. Never about that one. Kung Fu. Ooh, going to try it out now. Oh, press the reset button accidentally. Sorry, guys. Oh yeah, it's my one of my favorite games. Oh, that's a pause button. Really weird position for a pause button. Okay. Come on, come on, man. Oh, hit you in the balls. Hit you in the balls. Yeah, come on. Bring it on, bring it on. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, do the ball jump. Do the ball jump. Oh, yeah. Come on. Alright, next again. It's indeed CO2 Contra. Oh, what happened? I pressed that button. Ah, now it's working. That seems to be the real original Super Contra. Hmm. Alright, next game. Pinball. It's actually it's really the pinball game. Alright, let's see what's no more on this thing. How do you switch to the other game list? Do you need to go to the bottom? Oh yeah, that's really annoying. Goodbye. Julian Restall. Seems to be no double games over here. Oh, there's a new one. Gang shoot, what is gang shoot? Clay shoot are the basic basic shooters. So yeah, there are some actually some good games on them. Alright, let's try out the cartridge slot. And the Power Station 64 games even got the support for Famicom games. Alright, let's try out Zelda. <laughs> so it's even portable and yes. Oh that is pretty nice. Reset. Uh, 
and attempting to play play three knots. All right, people, I know enough about this thing. Let's go to the final conclusion. Yeah, people, for the final conclusion, I didn't expect much from this uh, Power Station 64 games. Like another plug and play, they're mostly horrible systems. But this one, this blow, blow my mind. Uh, why is this? It's got original good Nintendo games. It's got an extra control so you can play with your body. It's got even light gun. I couldn't test it out because I don't have a CRT television and that's the only way to test it out. So far I know. It's got a cable, a power supply and even if you want to play on the go you can use your battery system. And this is really awesome. You can use Famicom games. So I like in my video I added the 156 one, the yeah, Ultimate Remix 1 and 2, and you have all the great Nintendo games on the go. So this is, not only plug and play, it's even just an, an original console or a console, you know. You know what I mean. Uh, it's like an, an, an Famicom system on the go. The D-pad, the controls are pretty nice, and uh, yeah, I'm very satisfied about this product. It's pretty damn expensive. Again, I want to thank you for uh, yeah, just giving me this trade and giving the opportunity to have this in the collection. and making a video about it. So people, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay strong, stay positive, and stay wicked! And game on! Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter. Yeah, don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.